<laughs> they call the restoration center. Um, it used to be here as a church. Um, and I came across an ad um, on um, a job site some years back, advertising for an administrator. And I checked the details and it was saying the person is to work for free, tidying up the church and all that, assisting the pastor with whatever duties and so on and so forth, preparing the church for services. So it's actually a servant's job, a slave's job they want to uh, recruit somebody for, for free. So people should come from wherever they're coming from and to come and serve you for free. Um, it's so sad that the exploitation is quite um, common in many Pentecostal churches these days. The wages of the laborers are crying against many pastors. To make matters worse, people are unemployed. You are telling them to descend so low to the poverty level in the United Kingdom, in the West, to collect social security benefits. What have you done to help them be in work? Some people studied accounting, accountancy. It's very common with the UK saying people don't have experience. They require things like intermediate Excel skills, which is not taught in the courses deliberately by the government to prevent people from getting jobs in that particular um, 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 area. So really, um, what about, how about um, organizing courses for them in things like pivot tables and uh, VLOOKUPs so that they can get a job in accountancy and teaching them things like skills like um, PowerPoints so that they can be in work because even the reason why many people don't get a job is because of lacking those skills which they can't afford to pay for but maybe even the training is not available at um, an affordable cost you know so really pastors get um i mean like and get to understand get wisdom all the wages of the laborers crying against many pentecostal church pastors it's going to be required of you all on the judgment day honestly i rest my case <laughs>